Good afternoon, everybody. It's good to see you. And I hope you're all doing well. I'm really happy to welcome you to our 2020 virtual awards ceremony. It's really unfortunate that we have to meet in this one dimensional online space instead of our beauty, beautiful dining hall. But that's the nature of the world we live in right now, sadly. But despite this disruption, we've all endured. And I think, and I think all of you would agree, it's important that we take time to celebrate the many students, clubs, organizations, faculty and staff being recognized for their achievements this year. I congratulate each of the award recipients. I wanna personally, from my heart, thank our faculty, and the many staff who've made it their priority to help all of you achieve your individual goals during this incredibly stressful and somewhat bizarre year we face. Together as a community, we see each of you, we've seen each of you change and grow in so many profound ways. We've learned so much from you and hope you've learned as much from us. I also wanna congratulate our newly elected collegiate cabinet members led by Molly Waltz, president. Molly, I look forward to working with you. And Thank in addition, you. you're welcome, Aaron, Scarlett, Chelsea, Anna, and, and Gina to make sure we keep Wells moving forward into the future. Finally, I congratulate each and every one of our students for embracing the Wells experience. We are really so proud of you. Good luck and stay healthy. Thank you. Thank you, President Gibraltar. And thank you again to everyone watching today. We miss you and are thankful to have this opportunity to honor our students in some way during this time. Although we all would have much preferred to have had the opportunity to do this on campus together. To get us started, I'd like to turn the mic over to our current collegiate cabinet. These student leaders have put in a lot of work this year and have continued to work for our students even while being off campus. They've stayed active, holding weekly meetings with me and my staff, and have hosted many fun contests via social media, and have had a great input on how to help and support our students during this time. The cabinet has continued to make amazing things happen even while we've been all forced to be apart. We have every confidence that these amazing actions will continue under the incoming collegiate board and the current cabinet will introduce the, current, the incoming board next. So President Kara Reynolds, take it away. <laughs> Thank you, Dean Kenyon. I would like to ask the current board to join me in helping giving out the awards, as well as inviting the following members to be sworn in. President Molly Walls, Vice President Aaron Connolly, Scarlett Lonsky, Treasurer-Elect, Chelsea Jewett, Secretary, Ana Mendez, Elections Manager, and Jenna Swift, Community Court Chair. I would now like to ask Shannon Simmons to give the oath of office to our 2020 to 2021 Collegiate Executive Board to be sworn into their elective, elected positions for the next year. Shannon, take it away. All righty, so the New collegiate members, please repeat after me. I do solemnly affirm that. I do solemnly, I do solemnly affirm, affirm that. that. I understand and I will uphold the Wells College Collegiate Constitution. I understand, I understand and, and I uphold will the, the collegiate, Wells College Collegiate, collegiate Constitution. Constitution. I will adhere to the Wells College Honor Code. I will adhere to the Wells College Honor Code. And strive to represent the student body. 
and, and strive to represent, represent the student, student body. body. I accept the responsibility placed on me by my peers. I accept, I accept the responsibility by my peers. And I will uphold all the requirements of my position. And, and I, I will uphold all the requirements of, requirements of my, my position. position. Please help me congratulate our new executive board. Uh, thank you, and I turn it back over to Kara Reynolds for the first award. Thanks, Shannon. Our first award is for the Community Education and Social Activism. It goes to a student or organization whose spirit advances the Wells College mission to educate students to think critically, reason wisely, act humanely as they cultivate meaningful lives, and has through their programs and activities during the academic year, educated the Wells community regarding issues of social justice and activism. This year, the award goes to Leah Eve Jels Judser Nelson. Congrats, Leah, and I will now turn it over to Jenna. Thanks, Kara. The Shelby Harris Outstanding Quiet Influence Awards recognizes a student leader who serves as a quiet influence on campus. The nominee need not be need not have served as an executive in executive office, but through continuous commitment and interaction with students and organizations across campus has made a significant difference. Dr. Shelby Harris was a psychology professor at Wells from 1961 to 1991. Dr. Harris was a principled man who tried to make a difference in the world while never failing to act with kindness and caring in his personal life. He touched many lives with the generosity of his spirit and warmth of his heart, but he did so quietly with no except no expectation or recognition of award. This year's winner is Chloe Rosemer. Congrats to Chloe. Now I'll pass it over to Shannon. Thank you, Jenna. The Outstanding Multicultural Program Award is in recognition of promoting greater multicultural outstanding, uh, sorry, understanding and appreciation at Wells College. This year's award goes to the Woke Wednesday series. Congratulations to Andre and his student interns on this great program. Now here's Dana with the next award. Thank you so much, Shannon. The Most Organized Committee Award honors a collegiate committee who has most efficiently fulfilled its constitutional obligations and has best facilitated open communication within the campus community. I'm happy to announce this year's winner is Community Court. While there are few, if any, active community court cases this past academic year, Community Court's mission to uphold the honor code remained unwavering and was exemplified by their stellar organization, ability to function in times of uncertainty, and their on-campus programs. Now here is next year's Community Court Chair Jenna to uh, present our next award. Thank you, Dana. The Best New Club Award honors a club introduced in the current school year that has worked efficiently to bring the student body around a common interest and has most successfully fulfilled its mission. This year, we are happy to announce the Multicultural Dance Club. Now back to Kara. Thank you. Next is our program of the year in recognition of a program on the Wells College campus that has outstanding attendance and exemption, exception student satisfaction, we are happy to award the opening of the Humility Hallway Center. So congratulations, Andre, and all those who are involved in this event. Now I'm passing it back to Shannon. Thank you, Kara. The Student Leader of the Year Award honors a member of the student body who has demonstrated strong character and an active engagement with his or her peers. This individual has made a profound and positive impact of, on the community through his or her actions. This year's award goes to Kara Reynolds. Thank you for being such a great president to the campus. And now back to you, Kara. Thank you so much, Shannon. I feel like Shannon and I are in like a tennis match where it's like, Shannon, I'm passing it off to you. Now you're bringing it back to me. But nonetheless, 
thank you and thank you all for the award. I greatly appreciate it. And now Dana will announce the Student Life Award. Thank you so much, Kara, for letting me have the tennis ball for a little bit. You're welcome. <laughs> The Student Life Award is given to the faculty or staff member who best supports students and goes above and beyond to advocate on their behalf. I hope that this comes as no surprise to anybody that this year's award goes to Dean Kenyon. Thank you, Dean Kenyon, for your vested interest in serving the student body. We're so lucky to have somebody that supports us the way you do through our academic experience in undergraduate. And now I'm going to dink the ball right back over to Kara for some closing remarks. I caught that play. You see what I, you know? Okay, no, all right, it's okay. <laughs> well, thank you again, Dana. And thank you, Dean Kenyon, for all the work that you've done with us, especially with our transition period. We greatly appreciate your efforts. And now to the Wells College community. On the behalf of the student body and the Collegiate Association, I am happy to be here with my executive board to give out the Collegiate Awards and swear in the 2020 to 2021 cabinet. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to serve you all and be a part of your growth. We appreciate each obstacle and success you've given us as we strive to stand up and be vocal about campus issues. Thank you, Sister Wells, and the 2019-2020 cabinet is out. We have served you guys, so thank you so much. And now, yes, you know, and now the collegiate cabinet will pass it off to Dean Kenyon and his staff for their department award. Wow. Well, thank you, Kara, and all of the cabinet, uh, both for the award and for all the work you've done this past year. Uh, I also congratulate our new executive board. I know we're going to accomplish great things and look forward to working with you. Uh, the outgoing executive board set a high bar, but I know you're going to rise to the occasion and bring Wells even further forward. The Dean of Students Office has the privilege of recognizing many leaders across campus, and I thank all of you for the thoughtful nominations of your peers and advisors. We had multiple nominations for each award, and that shows what an involved community we are at Wells. The first award I'll be giving out is the Dean of Students Legacy Award. This senior has definitely left a long-lasting impact on our campus and on Wells College as a whole. The student's peers describe the recipient as always putting others ahead of themselves and thinking for the benefit of Wells and its future, constantly showing up to events and always looking to better engage students. Their character was greatly reflected in the fact that this uh, candidate received five nominations for the award, the highest number of nominations for any of our awards today. They've served on not one, but two collegiate cabinets and will continue to serve Wells long after graduation as your newly elected Board of Trustees member. Congratulations to your outgoing collegiate president, Kara Reynolds. Next, I ask Emily Burt to recognize this year's recipient of the Outstanding Student Organization Advisor Award. Thank you, Charles, and congrats again to Kara. Wells will not be the same without you, which I know you know, but it's good to hear. <laughs> Being an advisor is an important role to our clubs and organizations, and I would like to thank all of the advisors out there watching with us today. This year's award for Outstanding Student Organization Advisor goes to a member of our staff that has taken on the role of supervisor, advisor, confidant, and mentor to many students on campus. They've worked tirelessly to help revive the Health Science Club and are often seen at any and all events across campus. Not only has this advisor served the students in the Health Science Club and as their role as a faculty member, but they've also gone above and beyond the call of any advisor or professor by graciously hosting and opening their home to two of our international students during this pandemic. For all these reasons and more, we are honored to give the Outstanding Student Organization Advisor Award to Professor Lindsay Burwell. Congratulations again to Professor Burwell and go Bears. Now to Andre Lynch to present the next award.
Thanks, Sam. Today, I have the honor of giving the next award to a very active student organization. I've been so impressed by the work our student clubs and organizations do, and I'm thankful that I get the opportunity to recognize one of those organizations today. As a staff, we went back and forth between a few organizations when trying to decide on the most improved organization. Many clubs and organizations have gone through a transforming period, transformative period this year, but this one definitely stuck out in our minds for many reasons. As the nominator stated, they have redefined themselves through programming and election practices to make the organization more inclusive and active on our campus. They also recently spent a lot of time and effort relocating their library this semester, and boy, is it beautiful. I'm so happy to announce the Women's Resource Center as this year's most improved organization. Congrats to the WRC. And now I'd like to hand this over to Jobe Zulu for our next award. Take it away, Jobe. Thanks, Andre. All of our student clubs and organizations have done great work this year, and it was incredibly difficult to decide which group should be recognized for outstanding student organization. However, the multiple nominations for this group helped us narrow it down. This group has been around for a bit, but really shine this year. Even while being off campus, this group has stayed connected with its members and still been a great presence of, well, a presence of Wells College. I'm happy to announce that this year's Outstanding Student Organization Award goes to her campus. Congratulations again. Now here's Dean Charles again for the next award. Thank you, Joe Bay. Our next award is for Outstanding Volunteer Service. The winner of this year's award has done a lot of work to keep an amazing service for our students running. They have had some great interns helping out and student volunteers as well. We have all seen how this group has positively impacted our community. And that's why I'm excited to announce the Food Pantry as this year's winner for outstanding volunteer service. Congratulations to the Food Pantry. And now back to Emily for our last award. Congratulations again to the Food Pantry and thanks Dean Kenyon for that. Now, I'm so excited to give the Express Cup to a student who embodies all that Wells has to offer with a spirit that shines through their involvements. Even though this student has only been on our campus for less than a year, they have been visible everywhere on campus and always has a shining positive attitude. Whether they're working on a class project with friends, participating in the odd line, or having a conversation about what's going on in the world, this student takes the time to help others, learn something new, and always support others. As one nominator stated, this award is made for this person. It's true. It is with great pleasure that I announce that the Express Cup this year goes to Nash. Congratulations, Nash. And now, as we bring today's program to a close, I would like to say thank you to President Gibraltar, the Student Affairs staff, and the Collegiate Cabinet, both outgoing and incoming, for being here with me today. An extra big thank you, of course, is in order for Ms. Kara Reynolds, your outgoing president, for all of her help here today. She helped me create the slides, wrote, helped write the script. Kara really did a ton of work for this, so I really appreciate that. Thank you. I will truly miss you and all of your help. I know I ask a lot of you, Kara, but you've been great. As Dean Kenyon <laughs> said earlier, we so wish we could have been all physically together to have presented these awards, but we're glad we were able to recognize our amazing winners in some way. Thank you to everyone for watching today. We miss you and we hope we all can be together soon. Congratulations to all our winners today and you'll all be getting awards in the mail at a later date. Thanks and also congrats and best wishes to the class of 2020 as well. We look forward to all the great things you all will accomplish. And as I said, I hope we all can be together soon. Thank you everyone for being here today. Got the live. <laughs> we love you, Wells.